What is going on guys? Welcome to yet again another sick video from your boy Maxi. If you're new here, subscribe. I've never said that, I don't like it, but seriously, if you're new here, subscribe. It's a great time. Today, we're gonna give you a little treat. We're gonna go in the gym, we're gonna do some deadlifts, but we're gonna do it with our boy Russell, AKA Russ Swole. He's like the only one here that actually lifts some weight at Alpha Lee Gym. Everyone else is just like, oh my God, look at my biceps. <laughs> Let's try to work our calves out. <laughs> What a bunch of idiots! <gasps> One thing you're gonna notice about Russell in this video, he's gonna be like really, really relaxed. Normally, when he's training, like he's a strong guy, but he'll be doing like 225 pounds. I'll come up and be like, yo, what's up, man? High five, like as he's walking up. He's like, nah, dude, nah, nah, serious. But today he'll be like, Hey, what's up, dude? Like Nick, right? I, I don't know if he still does it, but he went through a phase where he did 135, like the first warm-up, one rep. Yeah, I, one rep. I do that every now and then. Like if, I'm, do, if I'm feeling like it, then I'll do one rep. But sometimes, like, it'll be two, two, three. Shit. <laughs> you know, I, I do one, but sometimes I'm feeling it, I'll do two. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but for real, like, I do like eight. I do like two sets of eight. Nah. Do you think I, that's wasted energy? Uh, it depends. Like for me, like I get gas pretty fast, so it's like I might as well just get the motor pattern down. So if I'm just doing the delf alone, like I'm already prepared to lift as much weight as possible, just warming up. Yeah, so it's like plate, 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 and then top single. Even if I get up to like six plates for a single and I just do like two reps, like I can't do like, I can't walk in the gym and do like five reps and then I'm at my top single. I need like, I need like more rep work. Well, like I didn't do it today, but usually what I do before I actually start lifting is like I go through a pre-workout uh, routine. Oh yeah, I know, it's like, yeah. <laughs> no, I actually... Is that, wait, 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 is that how you shoot a basketball? You see? Oh no, watch, watch this. It's a fadeaway, dude. Oh, yeah. He went like, he went like this. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe 700, if I'm feeling it. I'm feeling good. Shit! Yeah. <laughs> it depends though, like, I don't know. I have like a big squat there, so like my squat kind of affects my deadlift. My single's 585. He's gonna be a hundred pounds more than me. What's your max right now? Are you telling me to estimate the most I've ever done? Most you've ever done? 720. 720. And RP seven now? Are you a seven? Seven and a seven and a half. Basically, Fun he's fact. a real power lifter, and I'm a fake ass Fun skinny fact. wannabe. The guy that watched me at IPF Worlds is his coach. I, I, I wasn't gonna bring that up. I was, I, when I no. said he competed at Worlds, I didn't wanna be like, he came in second to the guy that I'm getting coached by. Hey, but I'm coming for him oh. this year. It's not, it's not shots, but hey, like, you hey, don't show up to Worlds to get saved. Hey, now that you put this public, when, when you mentioned that, I actually said this to him on DM. I was like, hey, Russell, just make sure your training's on point. Like, he says he's coming for you. You know what he, no, you know Did what, you know really what he, send that? Yeah, you, well, you publicly just said you're coming for him. You, know, you wanna know what he said? What? He goes, he said the same thing last year, man. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh I shit. did. I did. I'm not gonna make excuses. I did say the same thing last year. Hey, man, we'll, we'll see on the platform. Hey, we'll, we'll, yeah. I'll see him on the platform. Oh, you hear that, Brett? Steps. Been about the business, yo, I never get to make another mark and I'ma hit it. Better tell him on the illness, let me get a beat. I'm better about to kill it. Dealing with the realness, everybody know I'm about to do it to the finish line. Ain't no additional options. Know that we killing imposters. Know that we lit and we popping. Me and the homies got shit to accomplish. Russell, I have never, ever, ever lost a lost deadlift in my grip. Ever. That's not a weird flex, that's a real flex. <laughs> you saw his kids wearing their like strap on or straps. And uh not me. You wear straps, man? <laughs> oh you don't? No. Oh shit, my bad. <laughs> See there's people that know how to use straps, there's people that are like, oh I just you know, I I'm just trying to work the movement and I don't I'm not trying to work my grip right now. Like I'm just like, yeah bitch, you should. I've all never time. yeah, I've never been a man. Like Max, how do you have such good grip grip strength? I'm like, because I don't use straps. Is that why? Masturbation. 
I mean, I used to do a bunch of weird shit. Like, back in the day, I watched my old videos, like, I would, like, be back, and they would, I'd, like, almost be crying. I'd be like... <laughs> <laughs> Like, it was like no music, no edits, no nothing. It's just you and the JB like... Yeah. <laughs> well, see, I, I, I used to I used to do the, the, the like, praise one. I used to be like... <laughs> <laughs> but now, but now, now, now it's more of a... I mean, it's cool looking, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's cool looking. Yeah. Uh... Another thing about Russell, I don't know what this is, but apparently at five plates, he lets his tits just fly out. Look at this. Yo, real, real, this is a serious question, bro. I don't, I don't want to mess with a setup. No, you're good. Why do you take your shirt off? Okay, I have a thing where I hate when my shirt gets super duper sweaty because I don't want to get back into my car. Maybe stop sweaty. wearing like a small, are we? Nah, it, it doesn't matter what I I'm just saying like, I sweat a lot during my workout. So it's like, if I go into my car with that sweaty shirt, I just feel like it's just like rubbing against the seats, like all that shit. That's why you do it? Yeah, like literally. Seriously. I wanna do it, I wanna do it. Bro, is it not, is it not super humid in here right now? Wait, do you see it? Look, 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 Show them, show them your pit stains. No, dude. But you just started sweating. I've been Yo, sweating. To be honest, we look the same, man. Look at this. You actually do have, you have a big chest, man. You know, I've been doing this little deadlift thing for a long time and people are always commenting about my strength and whatnot. So when I pull like 500 super, super easily, everyone's like, oh my gosh, like my max is like four or five, it's so crazy to see pull 500. And I'm always like, you'll, you'll get there, you'll get there. Imagine pulling 585 pounds, right? That's my top single. And that still being warm up weight for us. <laughs> it just really motivates me, you know? Just like one day I'll be at 700, 700, 700 pounds uh, really soon. Nope. He's strong as shit. Like, real strong. Oh, that shit, man. I didn't wait for the drop. Oh, the drop on the song? I didn't wait for the drop on the song. Bro, that's... You got it, you got it. That was, that was solid. That was solid. Obviously, Russell is, you know, he's been training for longer than I have, and he's probably more seriously into lifting in general. Like, he competes, you know, again, at a, a very serious level. But I, I don't think I've ever worked out with Russell, and it, it's cool. It kind of reminds me of when I worked out with, like, people who were powerlift uh, back in, like, Virginia, and it's, it's definitely good working out with people who are on the same level of your strength, and also it's really motivating to work out with someone who is stronger than you because it's going to really, like, light a fire under your butthole to, uh, to keep pushing yourself because it's like, you know, I'm lifting by myself or I lift with, you know, Charlie, <laughs> Christian, <laughs> Joe. <laughs> but lift with someone strong and it'll really like remind you how weak you actually are, you know? Help. So it was great lifting with Russell. If you guys are interested in checking out his channel, someone who actually trains to uh, progress in the gym, unlike your boy who's serious into powerlifting, go check his channel out. First link in the description. Now I'm here with these two lovebirds. I'm gonna get some sushi. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, six, nine, six, nine. Damn it. All right, so for dinner, we have some chicken teriyaki, some white rice, and the best sushi, spicy tuna with crunch. And if you have never had sushi before and you go eat sushi with someone, they're like, oh my God, Becky, you have to get the sashimi. You have to get the, the lobster tail. Be like, Becky, shut up. Max said, spicy tuna. And I would never lie to you, ever. Good morning guys, if you're having a fantastic day, then just smash that thumbs up button. This morning I was brushing my teeth, I look over, dude's just, <laughs> just having uh, the best old time. And then I go back to brush my teeth, right? Because I care about my oral hygiene. And I look over and there's just blood all over the floor. There's blood around dude's mouth. And I'm like, oh my God, uh, dude's dying. I screwed up as a dog owner. <laughs> but turns out dude is just losing all his puppy teeth. And I didn't know they lose their canines. So the big 
sharpie fangy ones but you see on the bottom there how hold on dude hold on dude the people care about you man you see right there on the bottom well i'll show you a picture uh of what i saw and then his canine tooth but he's just a growing boy you're just a growing boy losing all your teeth man you're getting so old he's almost five months old i've had him since two months if, if you've been watching this channel since I got a dude, he's getting so big. What's hey, up, Joseph? Your, uh, stupid packages there. Oh my God! Do you know what this is, man? Did, my dog is about to become the future. My dog is science. Dog, whoop, dude! This is for you, man. This is for you, dude. Do you want to know what it is, dude? Do you want to know what it is? It is a dog collar, woo! You so excited, man? But this is not just any dog collar. This is from a company called Fee. Uh, I don't know if this stands for anything, but it is a smart dog collar, which uh, the, the impression that I got from it of like the things it can do is essentially like an Apple Watch for dogs. I mean, he's not gonna be, he's not gonna be like texting Ava or anything, obviously, but I can like track his positioning. It can like monitor his activity levels and stuff. So we are gonna plug this in and I think you have to download an app and I'm gonna check this. Man, this is nice, man. This looks, it, it came in, it only came in this gray color or the yellow and I figured, you know, he's already pretty golden. So just got the gray, but let's check this thing out. So I'm setting up the app. Look at this. What do you call your pup? Dude. Dude is a good boy or girl. It's, you know, it's, it's little things like this, Mona. Like this is what makes a, a, a thing cool. He's a good boy. <laughs> Woof. Oh, oh my God. He, oh, they have it. Look at that. Most popular dog breeds. I mean, he's at the bottom, but that I don't think that's in any sort of order. But look at that, dude. I don't have to type your thing. Man, she. Pure. Oh, he's, well, he's, a, he's a mutt. He's, he's purebred. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so it comes with this like little magnetic charging station. It's been on there for about 15 minutes. Dude, let's try it on, man. Come here, buddy. Come here, dude. Come here. Come here. Come here. You look so nice, man. Oh my God, it's like a dog collar, but smart. I mean, you look, I'm, you got a high IQ, man. I can just feel it, look at this, look at this. You can see me, babes, look at that. Look at that, it looks nice, man. It looks so nice, dude. That looks so nice, dude. So the app is pretty cool, very easy to use. It shows like your dog's steps right there. You can put in different goals if you were interested in that. It has like the battery percentage on the collar. I think it has like a three month charge cycle, which is, which is really impressive. But uh, tracking dude's steps is not the reason why I was interested in this. And keep in mind, they're not paying me any money to talk about the collar. They did send me the collar, but you know, I'm not getting any dollars. I just saw an ad for this and was like, hey, this is really cool. Uh, and I reached out to them. So if you guys don't know, you can get your dog chipped, which I haven't got him chipped yet, but what that is, Assuming he doesn't have like a phone number on his collar or whatever, you know, because then you can't on YouTube because people just call you and text you and then you got to change your phone number. But, you know, that's another story. But if you have your dog chipped and someone finds your dog because it got out, right, they take the dog, they take it to a vet, the vet can check the chip and then from there they can contact the owner and hopefully you get your dog back. But the problem with the chip is that if your dog gets out, you don't know where he is because you can't track the chip. You can only find out who owns the dog when you check the chip, right? And, you know, God forbid something was to happen with your dog getting hit by a car or just someone stealing, you know, the dog. And I don't know what people do. It's like, it's like a black market for, for stray dogs. I don't know. You know, that's like one of my worst fears due to getting, um, you know, sick or that's actually my worst fear of anyone that I care about myself, you know, due to getting sick or getting lost. I hope none of my friends get lost. But what's cool about this app is it tracks your dog and it uses LTE service. So you don't need to be around uh, Wi-Fi. I think it's like three or $4 a month on LTE service, but you can use your phone to track exactly where your dog is if they were to get out or get lost, which I think is so amazing. Like the coolest thing ever. And you can put like little safe zones um, and different radiuses, like where your work is or where your home is. And then if your dog was to get out of that safe zone, it alerts you, it texts you and whatnot. So I think it's just an amazing product. And I've seen a couple other collars um, out there, but they're really like huge and gaudy. And this one kind of stood out to me. And like I said, I just, I'd never want dude to get lost or anything like that in it. But if he did, I can track him with this collar and, and it doesn't, are you, are you eating wood, man? Got you all these toys and you're eating wood, but the collar uh, looks pretty cool. I think he likes it. He looks pretty stylish. I'm really happy with it. Mo, do you think it's cool? Amazing. You know, okay. Just go back to listen to the new Khaled album, all right? What? Yeah, you know, I just... No, 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 no. I want to be able to experience it myself next week. 
Oh yeah, Mona's gonna watch Dude while we are in Australia. Going down under, mate. Gonna be at the Sydney Fit Expo with Ghost, okay? We're gonna have some kangaroos. We're gonna uh, the shrimp on the barbie or prawns on the barbie. It's just gonna be... Uh, <laughs> Man, I'm, I'm terrible at accents. <laughs> Hey guys, so Joe, Max, and Becker are gonna go to- I'm just- it's me guys, dude can't talk, he's a dog. But Joe, Beck, and myself are gonna go see Us tonight. Really, really want to see it, it's a scary movie. If you don't know, I think I have dude hair in my mouth. But um, I wanted to whip up some dinner so I don't eat as much candy as uh, I probably should not. I don't want to eat as much candy as I probably should not. I don't want to eat a ton of candy at the movies, so I wanted to get a healthy meal in, so I just whipped up a meal from our friends over at Hello, oh, sorry, that's a no-no. <laughs> this is a no-no. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. But our friends at HelloFresh are sponsoring this video, and they hooked us up with a chicken teriyaki bowl. They actually sent me some other ones as well, but this is just the one that I'm gonna make for tonight, or that I made. But HelloFresh is a super simple company to work with if you're ever uh, interested in a kind of meal delivery service, because they give you the tools to be your own boss. It's super simple. Everything comes in an insulated box delivered fresh right to your door. All pre-measured fresh ingredients, all the sauces, everything super easy to make. Uh, you know, maybe you're like stuck in this little rut where you're, in, you're making the same thing every single week. You want to get out of your comfort zone. You want to make some new stuff, new delicious meals. They got you covered and it's enjoyable and easy to do because going to the grocery store and like being like, oh my God, what do I get? And then you get like a bottle of sauce and you make it just for that one dish and then you have a whole bottle of sauce stuck in your fridge forever. You don't do that, okay? You don't have to go to the grocery store anymore because everything comes to you and it's fresh and it's delivered and it's awesome. So let's go and try this chicken teriyaki out. It's really hot. It's pretty good. That's spicy. Sriracha. Did you know sriracha is SR? Sriracha. Sriracha, Joe. Not sriracha, sriracha. Great A content right here. But since they are sponsoring the video, uh, they wanted to hook you guys up. HelloFresh is now from $6.99 per serving, but they are hooking you up because they are sponsoring the video. And you can get your first eight meals for free. That is $80 off your first month with HelloFresh. If you go to HelloFresh.com and use my discount code MAX80 to save yourself some doll hairs. So always a shout out to them. Look, it's so hot, like I'm burning my mouth. But it's good, it's just hot. Oh, so hot and it's spicy. We're gonna go check out the movie. I should probably let them know how it is, right? People like movie reviews. Yeah, okay. Yeah, all right. Uh, movie review in three, two, one. I gotta do yeah, the hand good. thing. Right I gotta do the hand thing. What, you can't hand thing I it by yourself? The, I, it's called a transition, Joe. How do you do uh, it How do you, what do you mean? I did the hand thing. I know, but. I'll you do it again. You can't hand thing while you vlog? No. Okay, go for it. I'm gonna get a lot of highlight hate for this, but that was a stupid movie. Not scary. Didn't make any damn sense. Ending stupid. Stupid movie. It was dumb. Like, there I, was an underlying it, meaning that I don't it, care it's about. Been, it's, been a, it's been a while since I've, I've seen a movie where I, I didn't think, like yeah, it. I think so. Because she said, at one point they said, we're Americans. At another point they said, let's go to Mexico. Like, like it's not happening over there. Like, so, Ven Venom, I, I, di I didn't like it. Like, I didn't like it. That movie, s dumb. Stupid. Didn't like it. Don't see it. Wouldn't recommend it. Boo, thumbs down your video. You know what? Just whatever, guys. I'll see you in the next one. All right, whatever. Yes. What? No. What do you think of it? I'm saying you're not smart enough to understand the video. Like you didn't like it either. I know, but I'm not smart enough either. We're stupid. We were smart. 